wanted to ask you guys about that. In terms of the instrumentation and, and the themes in this album, it seems like that they're more vast than, than what we've heard before as far as banjo and mandolin and the R&B singers and the, the, the Middle Eastern themes. So I guess the question is, was it, was it a concerted effort to try and incorporate all of that um, as you were pulling the songs together? I mean, did you guys deliberately say, let's shake it up this time? Mm -hmm. let's stretch out yeah I don't I don't I don't think we we don't I don't think we try I think it's like the sound that we have is not something that we've thought of we sat down and said well how, how do we want to get our sound we I mean it become it comes really real natural us playing together That's, um, from the beginning when the five of us got together and uh, and the different people that have played with us have fit in that way as well but it's just been a a, a really natural involvement with this and with this album we didn't go in and say you know, we want to go in these directions, and you know, it was just what we happen to be listening to. That sounds cool. How do we play it? You know, what okay, that's, you know, it was more. It's more like, a, it's more like you're digging or you're making a painting or you're sculpting. You you know, you find, you find out what's in there, with, with working at it. You don't say, well, I know what's in there, and I'm gonna go get it. You know, it's it's it, it comes out sort of from a, a process that that that. It, do you think, was it, a, was it a confidence factor though as well? I mean, it, could you guys have seen yourselves during your last album or your first album saying, hey, let's let's throw a, uh, a banjo on this track and let's get some female R&B singers to back us up on this one? I mean, I don't think we would have had that same confidence. We kept it pretty much us on the first two albums, except for, you know, little, Tim Reynolds is there, obviously. With yeah, John Popper on the first yeah. album. Yeah. But it was, it was pretty spare. You know, I think, I think you know, just, you know, having, had two runs in the studio before, and you know, like I said, also having the same producer that everyone has, you know, really loves Steve Lillywhite. He's just a great guy and really good at, I think, getting the best of us um, to come out and in the studio. And you know, so we we were, I think, probably a little bit more, you know, just open to, you know, adding more people. But we really, we didn't set out and say let's try to like, you know, make it different, like make it really big or anything. There were just all these people that we loved playing with. Like Bella played with us like half the tour last year, you know, and he sat in with us pretty much every night. You know, we, we just loved, you know, playing with him, wanted him to be on it. And Atlantis came by, she just really dig the recording, you know, and we say, you know, sure, you know, you know, she's just there, let's get her to sing, you know. And, you know, it's just like, it, it just sort of happened, you know, like uh, Carter's friend Butch that he used to play with on the keyboards, Butch Taylor. You know, he just came out to visit, you know, and we were just like, come on and sit in on a song, you know. And it's just, it was, it was just that kind of vibe, you know, just like, your friends are there, and just let's, let's let them, you know, sit in on the album, and just have some fun, you know. It's jam, it's, we always have the studio, it's Steve's idea, we always have the studio real open, so, so this time it gave it, it was, it, it was nice that, that a lot of the people that came to visit were, were musicians, because <laughs> it was no, it was no, it was no, the only person that we were planned to put on the album before, we knew uh, before we even written the songs was Bella because we decided that last summer, you know. You got to come play on now, Bella. But we had nothing planned for it. But he, but he was ready to come. So he was, and he was actually the last, the last guest. It's cool. It almost seems natural. You guys have carved out such a reputation being spontaneous on stage and thriving on that. You know, it's just only a matter of time before it flowed on over. Yeah, I mean, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's so much. Uh, uh, we have a reputation of being live, but I think that our, that our, um, I think as time goes on, I know Roy said it before, but I think as time goes on, more and more we're going to figure, a, uh, we're going to get, hopefully get a rep as being a studio band too, because it's, 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 it's so fun in the studio, because it's like, it's, it's a, it's a, a real, uh, a real game. It's a real. It's really. It, it's playful. You get to. It, it's like on the stage, but it's a, it's, it's a playful thing, but it's also like. Like conquering a math sum, or, or, or you know, finishing a, a painting. The whole process of something unfolding is, is there's a real satisfaction when you get to the end of it and you shut that book. So we're gonna spend time talking about it now, like we do. But, but really for us, the the, the whole album is over. You know. I'm trying to figure out how to articulate this question. I guess I've been reading that a lot of times that you were saying how you're trying to incorporate emotions into the way you sing. Um, so even if you didn't have specific words, you're still putting the flavor of... Oh, yeah, you can, and you can get that across. <laughs> um, I've, I've, I've sort of done that all, all along. If, 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 we, if, if we came up with a song that we really liked and I didn't have any words, I'm, I'm, I might just pretend there are words to it. And, and 
wail on about it because I think you know that the, the more important in the delivery that the important part is 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 the sound of the voice the attitude of the voice and then the lyrics are important you know when you when you analyze the song so what's going to hit you first is not really the subtleties of the of the lyrics the whatever equation part of the equation that is is sort of hidden away the really obvious part is the performance so I think that's the part that I that I want to get that has to be instantly um, have a, have an instant impact maybe Charlie it's more like it's more like an instrument you know than just just singing you know it's just like an instrument makes certain sounds you know words make certain sounds you know and that's that's the kind of way you know Dave has always told you know approach music it's just like you, you get the effect of these words and it sounds like music a musical instrument making sounds you know so if you're if you're comping, <laughs> so if you're playing along to a song which where where the exact lyrics aren't laid down yet, you'll you can still get into that space as far as the emotive space. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, there's a certain sort of feeling just from the song itself, even without the words, you know. And I think that you know the lyrics can just can grow from that, you know, you know whatever that feeling is that comes from the the music. The lyrics, you know, it comes on top of that, you know. I mean, or, or some people do it vice versa. You know, it doesn't have to be. This is the song. This is what it's about. Let's build a, the music on top of it. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, it's just everyone has their own way. I think a, um, a lot of people definitely do their lyrics first, and but I, I think it doesn't it doesn't work as well with the kind of with with the kind of music that we write. It just doesn't it doesn't work as well. We're not we don't really come up with a simple like, song. And, uh, with 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 the, the, this, these the, these are the changes. It's much more of a uh, uh, the songs that grow out of uh, different uh, melodies that we find, and so the, it's hard to. It's not it's, it's it's not a real clear process. It's it's it's, it's uh, I don't know. It's pretty uh, it's pretty foggy, and then eventually, hopefully, clarity comes at the end of it. that struck me when I was doing my research is, is the span of ages in the band, particularly with, I mean, Carter's on the one end and then Stefan's uh, at the other end, right? Yeah. So what's, so what's what's the age range there? I mean, how many years are between you guys? It's four, like four years, right? Uh, four years, yeah, Carter's 24, you're 23. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, That's right. we got together when we were young teens. It's good. I'm 31. I'm not a, so that's how old I am. Stefan's 23. I'm 33. And then we can't speak for anyone else. Yeah. Because <laughs> I actually don't know. I don't know. I, I knew this. I, I knew it. I just won't call. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I won't call. But it's it, there, there, there is there's definitely like an age span. But it's re I mean, I don't, I don't think it's really been, you know, too too much of an issue. Or maybe it has. You know, maybe that's yeah, a little part bit. of what what has made our sound. Um, the way it is, you know, because you got Stefan is coming from, you know, younger generation at Carter, you know, and, and me for that matter, you know, I'm 10 years older, you know, and he's listening to different things and being influenced by different things, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's never really, it's never gotten in the way of our music, you know, at all, you know, I don't think it's done anything but benefit, you know. Yeah, you it's know? real honest. I mean, that's the one thing that, us all, that I think we all noticed that we all played, you know, regardless of what we were in, what, what music we listened to, we played. Uh, what what we felt. I mean, it's, it sounds corny, corny, but it's it's just really what what it is. You know, how do we play this? Let's just play until it feels right. And when it feels right, it feels right. <laughs>